Madagascar is known for its rich biodiversity, but it is one of the poorest countries in the world with abysmal health conditions. Maternal and child mortality are off the charts. Half of all children are malnourished, and per capita spending on health is the lowest in the world. This is science writer Leslie Roberts, who, with support from the Pulitzer Center, traveled to Madagascar to report on a comprehensive effort to tackle the country's health crisis. Well, I've been to a lot of places, and Madagascar was different in a way because of the sheer beauty. You're going down the road past poor villages, but you're with a spectacular landscape. But when you get out to the villages, there's absolutely no health care at all. An eclectic group of scientists has founded a nonprofit called Pivot. They are working in a remote district in southeastern Madagascar. The co founders are convinced that the piecemeal approaches that attract most donor funding, such as bed nets for malaria or treatment for HIV, simply aren't enough in a place that's broken. They say you have to tackle the entire health system. The first thing Pivot did was say, if you want us to be here, let's build a health post together. So Pivot supplies all the building materials and the community builds the health post and they inaugurate them with a ceremony. So when we went to visit, we toured the clinic and saw children being tested for malnutrition. The founders looked over the ledgers where they record every patient they see and what's wrong with them. And then the villagers came out with their box guitars and traditional music and put on this wonderful performance. Their approach is to dress the entire health system, everything from getting in the best obstetricians, because uh, maternal mortality is a big problem, to having paper clips in the clinic. Sometimes nobody would file their drug orders on time because the printer had broken. So they fix printers, they put in latrines, they pay the pharmacist, they bring in solar panels, and then they're also doing intensive training of healthcare workers. What sets Pivot apart is their almost obsessive focus on data. Their goal is not only to fix a broken health system and save lives in this district, but to collect enough data to show what works in global health and fix what doesn't. They collect data from every single one of these health posts where they do record any drug dispensed, any patient seen, anyone referred, and then the same thing, the next level up, uh, the, the health clinics themselves, the health centers that serve more people. And they follow every child treated, what the outcome is. Do they recover? Do they not? The challenges are huge. Perhaps the biggest is simply the terrain. This gorgeous landscape that gave rise to all these different species keeps people isolated in villages. And many of them are five, 10, 15 kilometers, even from a road, much less the clinic. And if you're sick, you really can't navigate a footpath like that. So people get make stretchers out of branches and sheets and carry people to a clinic, which it sometimes can take days. Pivot is trying all sorts of strategies to bring health care to the population. Training community health workers in the villages, overhauling the crumbling clinics in one hospital, and they created an ambulance system available 24-7. The thing that led to most improvements is they reduced all the user fees. Before Pivot got there, the health centers were so bad that if they actually walked all the way there, they might be closed, there might be no doctor. And they saw in their first two years dramatic declines in child mortality and maternal mortality the number of people just going to a clinic increased. Data show almost all of the gains so far occurred in people who live within five kilometers of a health clinic. They've decided to really shore up the health care in the villages, and they have a pilot project that they're just starting now to try paying health workers. And at the same time, they are scaling up. So far, their pilot project has reached about 95,000 people. They want to reach all 200,000 in the district by 2020. 
And if their model works, they want to expand to the rest of the country, which means there are 24 million more people to go.